These ones are growing in the refrigerator. So I'm going to plant them next to their friends. I think I got most of the plastic out. I think these three might still be viable. This one could be planted. Yeah. I'll try putting those ones in too. So these sticks have been in here since I planted them. And they've got all kinds of mold growing on them, which is really good for the soil. I can't tell if it's like blurry or not, if you can actually see all that white stuff right there. Okay. I put the sticks where the garlic cloves are so I don't forget. We have these ones that'll be ready in like a month, if I'm patient. Ten more that'll be ready in about two months. And then these ones, maybe in about three months. We'll see. What? No, I realized that they have to look ugly before you pull them out. Like, they have to have tons of greens. We have string beans. This is so exciting. And a bunch of peas. This is super exciting. This is compost tea. Mm. I wish I could tell you how dank it smells. <laughs> this one's called a false sarsaparilla and I actually chopped it down, like down, all the way bare a couple of months ago because it was huge and it's already grown back a lot. Um, it only blooms once a year in February and the blooms are purple and they look like little orchids. They're like really tiny. We built a bird slash squirrel house. It has not garnered any attention just yet, um, unfortunately. Ants found it. Look at these ants eating the corn. The birds and the squirrels don't seem very interested in the suet just yet. I don't know if I got the wrong kind. Maybe I need to get like a different brand. I don't know. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the garden. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to talk about, anything you want to see in the garden. Flowers, plants, food, DIY type nonsense. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. You like my french fry socks? I wish I had ketchup socks.